the wristband, join me in launching the campaign here today by raising your arm with me and chanting together a heartfelt, together we can turn back crime. <laughs> Interpol uh, launched the global campaign on turning back crime. It set a stage to kind of come up that there is a need for synergy, jointness, partnership in preventing and also combating the crime. We want to appreciate and thank Interpol for this great initiative at a time of need. Currently, we are confronted with so many organized, modern, digital, sophisticated crimes that it has come to our attention, not only the law enforcers, police organizations, institutions that uh, work alone with different partners all over the world to realize the whole process, to understand the crime and partner with Interpol's initiative, support Interpol's initiative, so that we move together in preventing the crime. And so is turning back crime. Rwanda being a part of the Interpol, and also in this kind of situation, confronted with all these challenges, realizing our history, which was not good, we felt that it is one of the campaign tools and move together in this journey of campaigning against the crime. That's why we invited the Interpol to come and support us during the process. If you want to turn back crime in ending violence against women and girls, then you are in the right direction, you are in the same direction. This campaign, again, is therefore in, the, in that same vision, like the vision of our president, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Rwanda, uh, Paul Kagame, uh, with his good leadership and with his good vision of making all Rwandans feel safe, involved, and even be reassured of their safety. And that is why we are in that same direction, and the campaign, I believe, is going to bear fruit. It is also important in the fact that uh, essentially the objectives of turn back crime and uh, the objectives of community policing are the same. It's all to do with prevention.